Hi guys, it's Cindy Lovin with Cindy Loves Jewelry, and I am here today to share some goods I found this morning and yesterday. So uh, let's just make sure I have everything I want to share right here so I can see. So yesterday, um, hold on just a second. I need to here, I need to open another tab. And I'll have to go ahead and turn my volume down while I do that. I'm going to run back to it. Yeah, my shifters is live. I'm sorry. I don't know about shifters. My channel. I want to make that come up. And <clears throat> that minimize it just a little bit more. There we go. And where's my chat? Here I am. Hi, anyone who is here. Um anyway. So ooh. Let me just try something. Uh, what I want. That's not what I want. That's what I want. That's what I want. Hold on. I'm not trying to do that. <laughs> if anybody is here, you're being awfully patient with me. Okay. Let me drag it over so I can see what all this is. I just want. Okay, I see what I've done. There. Okay, I'm back. Okay, guys, thanks for being patient with me. So sometimes I'm not real brilliant. So anyway, hey, Debbie. I don't know who else is here. If you're here, be sure and say hi. So Debbie, I'm going to write quick while I'm waiting for more people to come in. I know there's two others here. I'm going to show the things I bought yesterday. And I've done show Debbie uh, in a personal chat. So I bought this sterling silver malachite ring, and I also bought this one that has the opal glass around it. This one is marked 925, but it did not test 925. This one is 925, and it was marked Navajo when I bought it. And so, anyway, so it is a very nice ring. Size 7, I will be listing that on eBay or offering it in a sale. These here are really nice earrings. They're etched. You can see the etching in there. It's just a really pretty etching. Hi, Darlene. How are you today? So, and I paid 50 cents for these earrings right here. This is a Monet brooch, leaf Monet. I paid $2 for it. This one here was $3, and it is also signed Monet. The key and all the rhinestones are in it. It's beautiful. So, hi, San Juana. San Juana, can you send me another friend request on e on Facebook? I did not know who you were, and I hit delete because I didn't see that we had very many friends in common. So, I hit it, deleted it accidentally. So, if you would refriend me, that would be awesome. What kind of soap are you making? I used to make soap all the time. I love to make soap. It's so fun. And then these are a pair of Sarah Coventry earrings. And they actually go like this. I always show them upside down, but they go like that. And they're marked Sarah Cove on the back there. And then I got these here, and they were 50 cents. They're clip-on. have little plastic turquoise-looking dangles. So, anyway, goat's milk. Do you have goats, Darlene? Or do you buy your milk? 
So anyway, uh, uh, anyway, that's okay. Uh, but I, I do want to friend you because I, now I know who you are. So I am typing in a link. This is a link to a Poshmark closet. It is Vanessa's link. And you're wondering, why am I typing in Vanessa's link? Vanessa sent me friend mail that came this morning with the sweetest note. She sells purses and jewelry on Poshmark. And um, this came. And she sent me some mesh purses. And y'all know I really like mesh purses. So I'm going to show y'all what she sent me. And I told her I would love to share her eBay, her eBay seller ID or her Poshmark page. And she, she told me she had Poshmark. So anyway, so we'll start with this little wallet. It's a little uh, it's a kiss snap wallet. It opens up and it has a little button that opens and it has pockets. And then it has a wallet wallet thing beautiful little thing i don't have anything at all like that so it is so pretty so anyway D darlene I i'm missing that chat let's see darlene 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 Did i miss what she said Did, do you have your own goats i can't remember if you have your own goats or not so anyway and if you have goats we may have a friend in common I have a friend that is a goat judge, a real good friend from Glenwood that is a goat judge. And um, anyway, so you may know her. Anyhow, so isn't that pretty? That's so beautiful. I'm just, I'm just thrilled. And look at this. This is Darlin. I love this. It's just a little bitty kiss snap change purse. It's got a little satin lining in it. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. And Vanessa, if you are here, thank you, thank you, thank you. And this one here is signed Whiting Davis. And it's a little bitty long shoulder evening bag. It's so cute. It's so adorable. I, I'm just in awe that she would do something so nice. I mean, just in awe. And she sent the sweetest note about how she knew that. How much I would love them. This is a coppery gray. Oh, it's really more coppery and brownish silver tone. It's really pretty. And it's just got a little flip snap. And it's satin lined. So pretty. So pretty. So. Let me see what she said. She says she's taking a break and she found me live. Okay. Are you lagging? And this one is a color I don't have, and it's signed Whiting Davis. And it's double pocketed. And uh anyway, and it's navy blue, and I have no navy blue pieces. So it looks black, but it is navy blue. It has a really nice leather strap. It's beautiful. So, Vanessa, if you're here, thank you. Thank you so much. And then a beautiful white, long, well, it's not really, it's almost ecra, but the, the, chain, the mesh is more white, but then the trim and all that is ecra. So, it's really pretty, really, really pretty. So, anyway. So that was one of my friend mails I got this morning. I did get another friend mail, but I am waiting. Let's see here. I'm waiting on an email to make sure that it's okay to share because sometimes people send you things and they're not okay to share. So anyway, let me just make sure, see if I didn't get an email back. So anyhow, but uh, um, this is a piece of, jewelry that my mom bought me she was yard selling and she bought me this piece and it is not signed but it has a older look sarah cub monet made a lot like these too so really pretty and then i can't imagine why my mother bought these for me but 
I can put them on eBay because they are registered NFL jewelry and they are the I guess they're I don't know if it's still Oakland Raiders is it Oakland Raiders is that it anyway it's a pair of pierced Oakland Raiders earrings they're in their NFL they've got their hologram they're sealed up everything in this little bag with the handle on it so I'll put them on eBay somebody might want an Oakland Raider earrings so you need to switch to your phone okay well I'll be here a bit because I've got a lot that I managed to collect this morning so oh while she's switching I'll show you guys this I bought this yesterday it is a Brighton purse there's the little Brighton heart and it's got the little Brighton signature thing in here and um, and it's it's kind of dirty but it's in really good shape so I'm gonna take a magic eraser to it I think and see if I can clean it up it's got a cool summer theme with the palm trees and the monkeys and all that I paid three dollars for it I've never had a Brighton purse so I don't know if I'm gonna keep it or sell it I haven't made up my mind so anyway I I mean I just got a brand new purse for my birthday so and it, it's um it's coach my husband got me a coach purse for my birthday at the um coach outlet in Branson so anyway so and I get these down at the flea market where I uh, have a couple of booths and uh, I paid for them. Usually we trade out jewelry, but I just paid for them because it was just easier. And this is really cute. It's magnetic closure. It's not signed. It's a, a leather bangle with a whole bunch of strands. I'm trying to see if I can get it there like that. And it, then it fastens. But it's pretty small. It is, well, it says it's seven inches, but I guess because it's so thick, it feels really small. So, anyway, only four people here. Only three people here now. Debbie must have left. Uh, anybody else? Who, who else? Here we go. Um, Hi, Anita. Did you get my email? I sent you an email. I keep checking my phone to see. Yeah, you did get my email. So... Okay. I am going to show y'all this. I got this from Anita this morning in the sweetest note. And y'all know that I collect your back. Hi. You know I collect turtles. And when she saw me, saw this, she sent me this sweet little turtle. I guess she was found it in a jar. If she did, I missed that jar. So... Is he not adorable? He's just beautiful. So, so I had friend mail today. It was awesome. I the mailman came and he had three packages, and I was only expecting one package. And I was like, "What are these other packages?" And then I saw, but I knew Vanessa was sending a package, but uh, I wasn't expecting a big package like she sent. And so I saw it and I was like, "Holy moly!" So, anyway, so let me show you these right quick. I bought them yesterday. These I bought for goodies. If you've bought from me, you know that when I send my uh, my things out, I always include extra goodies. I just, y'all, one of my love language gifts is giving. And so I bought these for goodies. This is a little elephant with, with rhinestones in his ears. Is he not adorable on these antique gold chains? They're not signed or anything, but I thought they would make beautiful goodie gifts. So... And a lot of people like elephants. 
And this is another elephant and he's got a black rhinestone in his eye. And he's adorable. And then this one won't make it into anybody's goodie bag except for my own goodie bag. Because look what he is. He's a froggy. And we all know I like my turtles and my froggies. So anyway. And then um, here is a little tiger face. And he's got rhinestones on his nose and his whiskers. And he's really interesting. So because he's two pieces. There's a black piece. And then the gold piece and the black piece lays behind the gold piece to make it stand out. So I think that's really neat. So anyhow, so, so he's a goodie gift. So anyway, so let's see. Oh, I went to, there. we have a place in our town called a resource center and they give away food, but they have a thrift store too. And they give away clothes there, but they also sell things. And so, they had these earrings and they look like tigers on them and they are not signed I don't think they're not signed they're silver and gold tone they were a dollar a pair so they're very well made they're clips then I got these there also for a dollar they're just little Silver tone hammered. They're uh, fish hook, fish hooks. And then these are like watch links, and they're earrings, brush gold and shiny gold, and they're pierced. And then let's see, there should be one more pair. There it is, one more pair of earrings. These, and they're like a confetti lucite with um, little rhinestones under them. Those were all a dollar a pair. Now, I'm going to show you something that was really weird about that. Um, that that stuff there doesn't go. Um, this is another piece I bought at my friend's, out of my friend's lot. And these are glass beads. Um, and I don't know if that's silver or silver tone. I haven't even, it's non-magnetic. But anyway, but they're beautiful beads, beautiful beads. And it was two dollars and it's a little bracelet i haven't made up my mind if i'm keeping it it's handmade but it's it's beautiful if i'm keeping it or not it's awful small it probably won't go around my wrist so <coughs> i'm sorry oh that came out of a bag let's see that and that and then this was the other thing that i bought for my friend brenda uh, and I gave two dollars for it, and it's pretty. It's gold tone. It's it's nicely made. I don't see a signature on it, but it's very nicely made. I help her research most of her stuff as she buys it. So, so then the lady that runs the resource center, her name is Miss Burt, and she sold me three three pendants, and I paid five dollars for them, and I just paid five dollars for them because uh, I'm. I was just buying from her. Anyway, that looks like, it looks like the inside of a geode. And it looks like um, amethyst. And I was going to ask Debbie about it. It looks like, hi, Francis Marlowe. You'll have to go back and watch the front because I had friend mail. I've done done it. But uh, uh, anyway. Somebody. Hold on. Somebody said. Okay. I missed something. I'm sorry. Hold on just a second, guys. Hold on just a minute, okay? I need to see something here. There. Okay. Okay. Anita, I'm glad you like those Swarovski. Swarovski. I can't say that word. Anyway, so does that not look like amethyst inside of that? And it, it looks like anybody want to weigh in on that? Looks like amethyst. 
anyway, and then this is just a little peach colored stone, moonstone looking thing. And I haven't tested it to see. It, it is magnetic. But this one here is a locket and it is non-magnetic and it looks silver to me. It looks, it really looks silver. So, we'll just cheat. I keep everything right here. We'll just cheat and see. Crap. Do you not ever have days when every drawer you open doesn't want to stay open? That drawer didn't want to stay open. And that locket is silver. It is silver. All right. That is awesome. I didn't know it was going to be silver. So that makes me happy. It is silver. So here. But this thing right here has been glued on it. I promise you it's been glued on it. Because it just came off. So it's a pendant that's been glued on it. I'll clean it up and see how it all cleans up. But it is silver. So anyway oh okay that's everything there okay so i paid a dollar for those earrings at that one store and this is what's weird about that okay because i'm fixing to show you something else that i bought at that store that i paid 50 cents for and y'all are all going to shake your head just like i did but oh well that's how they that's how they priced it see this bag of jewelry this whole bag of jewelry was 50 cents now <clears throat> just going to show it to you so uh-oh hold on here i am okay look at that impala it's an impala um brooch no signature and you know what i don't care if things don't have signature when they're well made this is a scarf clip with a little black stone in its gold tone this is just a stretchy bracelet it can go this one here is cool it's a dangle charm brooch and it is not signed remember i paid 50 cents for all of this not per piece but for all of it so anyway yeah 50 cents for all of it look at this this charm bracelet is that not gorgeous with all those different charms rhinestones beautiful hi there she thrifts i don't i don't know if i know you but hi thanks for joining us today so isn't that beautiful 50 cents for this whole bag of stuff let me just see this okay that is magnetic so it just had a little goldy tone to it um anyway there we go that's pretty little daisy look at that watch and it is signed oh i, I looked at that just a minute ago geneva no lafayette lafayette it's the other one that is geneva but it's got cabochons and they look like real stones. No, not cabochons. They're scarabs. Scarabs. They've got design in them. Anyway, it's a really nice watch. I'm sure it's a, a quartz. Yeah, it says quartz, so it needs a battery. Here's the other one I think that said Geneva. Yes, this one says Geneva. This with the, and it says Geneva quartz. And it has a toggle style last one. Hi, Nana's Treasure. I'm just showing a 50 cent bag I bought today. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. My mind was is just crazy sometimes. I, listen, I am so squirrely minded sometimes it ain't even funny. So, anyway, I, I'm not even going to go there. It's a ID bracelet, only it's not an ID bracelet. It's a that and it is magnetic but it's really well made i don't see any kind of signature at all on it 
lights on it and it toggles it's a toggle so anyway another um they look like that one looks like lapis lazuli but i don't think it's real that one looks like malachite that one i don't know that one neither so anyway but just little bracelet no signature i don't see no signature anywhere on it but it's very well made i mean 50 cents literally everything that i got in here probably cost less than a penny because there's more than 50 items in here a little hat brooch hat lady brooch look who does that make us all think of? Can y'all tell what it is? Hey, Barbara. It's a kitty cat. Where's Princess Casserole when we need her? Is she in? Let's see. Hold on. Barbara. Here, Nana. I want to make sure I didn't miss anybody. There she thrifts. 50 cents for all of this in this bag. 50 cents for all of it. Yeah. Uh, Cheryl's here. Hi, Cheryl. Francis. Anita. Francis Marlowe. Yep. Okay. Just fix that back. So uh, sometimes it's hard for me to see the chat over there because it's a little bitty box. So, but uh, anyway, is that not cool? So. Kitty, kitty, here, kitty, 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 kitty. I shouldn't say that. My my grand kitty is with me. Look at this little purse brooch. No signature, but look, it's got a little purse, a comb, a mirror, your car key, and a piece of candy. That's what everybody should have in their purse. Noah's Ark. Noah's Ark is not signed. Many of these pieces are not signed, but they're very well made. Oh, looky. It's a butterfly. Isn't he pretty? He's a little brooch. He's pretty. Oh. Uh, this one here is... Oh, I remember. This one is the only one I remember seeing a signature on. And it's a bracelet, and it is has a hang tag for Premier on it. Premier. Hey, do you guys know, does Premier do any sterling? I don't know. That one's definitely not sterling. That one. And this was in it too. Um, my friend was looking at it. It's just um, a box chain of stuff, sorts. A box rope. I don't know. Serpentine. Some kind of chain there. Anyway. So did anybody get a bunch of goodies at uh, Barbara's auction last night? Did you buy a bunch of goodies? So, I bought three lots the short little time I was in there. I'm anxious to get them. Look at this. This is an overall pendant thing. See see the overall? Can you see the overall thing that's to do on your overall straps? Rope chain. You think it's called a rope chain? Thanks, Mary. Welcome to my channel. Anyway, and then it's got all these little charms on it. So, very cool. 50 cents for all this bag. Plus, there's a couple things that I took out of it to put in my scavenger hunt box. Uh, if you are on Texas Gal Treasures, we're having a scavenger hunt. And uh, the link to it is pinned up. There's a little Christmas Santa. And I don't know what's under that. Anyway, we're having a... Oh, it's a pecan. It's a pecan. They painted a pecan. That is hilarious. It's a pecan. So, And he's got a little hat. Anyway, we're having a scavenger hunt, and everybody gets to participate, including the uh, admins and moderators. And so, I went through this bag because I just bought it this week. Well, I actually just bought it today, and I pulled out some of the things on the list. And then, I pulled out some of the things I got at Branson last week because the scavenger hunt's been going on two weeks, and I could use them. So, I've got six items on the list. So, I'm doing good. So, and I, I'll not find pearls knotted because I avoid buying pearls, period. Knotted, not knotted. And look, here, there's pearls in that, but they're not knotted. They're chained. It's a little toggle bracelet, and it's real lightweight. There goes my eBay, eBay sound. Somebody either... Uh, 
looked at something and liked something or they're offering me a coupon they're probably offering me a coupon here's another christmas santa and he's missing something that was dangling from his hat i don't know what it was but hmm. and isn't that cute that little pumpkin with the fall their little silk fall leaves not signed but very cute and i thought well those leaves are kind of odd i might take them off but they're wired in there so but you know what i still could take them off they're just a little weird to me so what do y'all think leave the leaves or take them off what do you think vote vote leave the leaves or take them off Look at that. Is that not an adorable brooch hat? Very heavy, very well made, but not signed. But you know what? It doesn't matter if it's signed. If it's nicely made, <clears throat> it will sell. I think this is Avon. It has a dot on the back of it. So anyway, and it's just a little bow. It has green enamel and a, a, a rhinestone in the middle of it. And this little guy is Santa going in a chimney, and he says CHL Designs. So I don't know what CHL Designs, and he's a tap pin. And then this is my favorite piece in it, and it actually has an extender in it that makes it longer. But look at this bracelet. Is that not pretty? Those uh, rectangular... Um, and all the rhinestones are in it so pretty very 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 pretty um it's beautiful so 50 cents for that all that those things that i showed y'all i don't know if anybody was counting for me but wow I'm, and i'm just like okay you put a dollar a pair on those earrings and i don't mind paying a dollar a pair for earrings but 50 cents for all of that you could have sold each piece of that for 50 cents and made that much money you know but that they do their clothes like that too they don't know enough about the clothes and they give away their name brand stuff and keep crappy stuff so anyway if you haven't seen my branson haul these were a pair of earrings that i got to keep for me well, I got them. I bought them and just put them in. When I got them, the hearts were black. And um, this looks definitely looks like lapis lazuli. And I thought it said loft on the back, but it actually says Lori. L-O-R-I. L-O-R-I. And it says sterling. And they are sterling. I tested them. So, yep, 50 cents. So, anyway and I've, i got one more box to show you guys so i'm sorry let me make sure where i put it is this it yes this is it okay angela heath has a and i'm trying to think what her username oh did i show y'all this i don't think i showed y'all this piece right here look at this this bracelet it almost has a bit of a Brighton look, but it doesn't have any kind of signature on it. It has these moon glow and all the way around it. And then it has a magnetic closure. But some of these have, when you turn them, and I don't think this is going to catch it, but when you turn them, yeah, it catches some. Can you see the different colors as you turn that? You can see green and blue and then the pink. Let's see. That one there doesn't do it. This one here will. Look at that. See that? How you can see those colors in that. If I understand Fire Mountain Fire Mountain Gems book correctly, and I've looked at this several times, my understanding is that what makes that do that have that where it looks like that is that they put what's called a third party coating on the back of the of the stone that makes them do it a third party full coating that makes that do that that is so pretty it is so so pretty so and i'm looking for the, there's the magnet oh wait hold on let me look through my loop because i think that may say no and no it just and it's a magnetic magnet magnetic one so it is that one's beautiful 
it's like hold them closer to me instead of closer to the camera like that and now that one's just you just ordered your catalog today i ordered one last week so i like avon you grew up on avon uh avon is collectible for some people they collect it can you see that all that color in that one right there it's so pretty anyway so so um anna no not anna angela i have a friend named anna heath that's why i said anna anyway angela heath she is she's on youtube but i can't think of what her youtube username is i'm sorry angela she's been showing jewelry lots that she's buying, buying from goodwill.com shop goodwill.com and i don't shop on goodwill.shop goodwill.com because their shipping can be outrageous and uh it hurts my feelings when it's like like they do i mean they charge ridiculous prices for it so i'm opening all these little baggies so anyway so she was showing she's one day and she was saying what is up with all these owls i keep finding owls well owls are very popular right now if you sell you know owls are popular and um anyway i'll wrap that up way too soon just a minute let's give this bad boy a scratch uh because there's a reason i'm pretty sure he's silver he's not marked but he has inlaid turquoise and i think he's several so i'm going to test him right quick while i'm thinking about it and guess what i was wrong so more than likely his inlaid turquoise is not real so anyway but anyhow so i'll show you he's cute see that little owl he looks like he's got inlaid turquoise and uh, coral on his wing. He's not adorable, but he is not silver. So, I love owls. I mean, I have quite a few pieces of owl jewelry actually that I wear in my personal jewelry collection. So, uh, but I don't collect them per se like I do my little turtles. But I probably have as many owls as I do turtles. So anyway, just because they catch my eye and I buy them when I'm out. This little necklace is cute, isn't it? Can you, can you see he's a half moon? And there's two little owls in there. He's really sweet. And the faceted cut on that chain is really pretty. But I'm pretty sure it's magnetic. Aw, oh, it's magnetic. But this was the owl that she showed that day that made me say, oh, I want that owl. And he's not signed, but he is very interesting. Look at him. He's big. And he's on a really heavy chain. So I bought this lot from her for $10 and then shipping. So, so anyway, so um, guys, I just want to say this. If you're in a group, uh, whether it's margaret's group which i'm in i'm a i'm a, a an admin moderator over there in or if it's tanya's group if you're in tanya's group um find out where your other members are selling because sometimes you can get awesome things from them granny josie if you're in her facebook group um she has some awesome jars at some really good prices in fact i bought a jar last night from her at midnight Here's a little owl. Here's another little owl. And here is another little owl. So I got one, two, three tack pins, this little pendant, and two necklaces for $10. Not bad. And then shipping was like $3 and something. So it was it wasn't bad at all. So but it's been a good morning for jewelry. So anyway, make sure I showed y'all everything there. Uh, I'm all that stuff is junk that came from my booth out of my dollar booth. So 
but Vanessa Gra Granny Josie, G R A N I E J O S I E, Granny Josie. And she has a channel here. In fact, I just won one of her giveaways. Uh, Anita is in her group. It's a small group. She just started it and she makes handmade bags, but she also sells jewelry. And Granny Josie, and she obviously has been selling on eBay for a long time because she has a, over 2,000 feedback. So, anyway, her real name is Jo Lawrence, and she's just as sweet as she can be. She is adorable. So, anyway, but uh, um, anyhow, uh, did anybody have any thoughts? Can you tell me? Do you think that is amethyst? I mean, it, it's a rock. I can tell that it's a rock, but I don't know if it's an amethyst or not. I may have to go back and read the chat and see. I'm going to pull it back towards me. There we go. Do you think it's an amethyst? Mary. You love the owl. Cute. If owls are coming back. Yes, I have an owl necklace. Gran Granny Josie is her name. It looks like it. It does. It's definitely amethyst. Cool. So that's what I bought from that lady this morning for five dollars. That and those other two pendants, which that this one here, this uh, this one here is sterling silver. It tested sterling when I done the scratch off on it. So I wonder if this piece is sterling also. Let's see what my magnet says. He's not. He's not a. Scratch, we haven't scratched. I bet he's silver too. I'll just bet money. Hey guys, when you uh oh, what got what got deleted? So anyway, if you've got groups, and that too is sterling silver. Yes. Hold on. If you're testing for sterling, can I give you a hint? There we go. It's definitely sterling. Yes. So that whole part of that was sterling. So the little metal on top of it that was just glued on crudely, and this was all sterling. So, but if you, oh, while I'm doing this, let's just go ahead. If you're testing for sterling, and I, I told Anita this one day, uh, somebody gave this this hint in one of our and over at margaret's group and it has changed Ooh, sorry it has drastically changed how i'm able to find out if i have sterling because i never could tell if it was sterling that is not sterling with the uh, i was hoping that this was sterling but it's not that i was never able to tell with using the red dye that when you're but somebody posted that if you drop 18 karat gold on the, a sterling mark that it will turn milky white or milky blue and i watched some videos on it and it says also that if it seems like it's not turning after you drop your 18 karat on it drop a team and if it is sterling it will definitely change but most of the time it changes without dropping the 14 you just do 18 and so <laughs> Oh no, to do that, Debbie. <laughs> I'll take your wrench away from you. No, I won't because I need all the help I can get. So, anyway, but uh, uh so if you just let me, I, I don't know if I can make this translate, okay, but I'm gonna try to. So, hold on just a second, let me do this. Okay, here I am. So, here's my stone, and here's my this. And I'm going to scratch it. And I just scratch it on the stone. I made me a good mark. And now I'm taking my 18 carat with the red lid. And I'm going to drop just a drop on it. And I'm going to hold this so I can tilt it. Do you see how that turned milky in there? Can you see that? Let me, there. You can see how that's all milky, that line turned milky white. 
and it's probably really hard to there. You never get that kind of a reading with the silly brown stuff. You have to put the brown stuff on it and wait to see if it turns white on the napkin or red on the napkin or whatever. So, yeah. So, anyway, so that's the easiest, easiest method of testing for silver. So, so anyway, let's see. Let's see what Yara is saying. You are in Joan. Oh, Joan. Joan Brody. Yes. Yeah, Debbie didn't mean to do that. So, anyway. Uh, anyhow, so sometimes it's easy to hit the wrong button. And I'm, I will suggest this. I don't know. If you have acid kits, I don't know how you store I have a metal desk. And uh, I store all my stuff in it, but I have found that my acid was ma is making my metal desk rust. So I uh, got me a wooden box to put my acid in so that I don't have that problem no more. So anyway, so. Is she in timeout? I don't think you're in timeout no more, though, she thrifts, because otherwise your post wouldn't be showing up, and I can see it. Of course, I'm the, let's see, let me, let me just see. Oh, it doesn't show that you're in timeout on, on, on my moderating thing, so anyway, so um, there we go. Okay, I'm back. I can see me. So, anyhow, weight loss is going good. I'm four-tenths of a pound away from hitting my first goal of losing 30 pounds, so that makes me happy. I had a little bit of a rough day yesterday, but today I'm back on track. So, yay, yay my husband just stepped in. I'm doing a video. Oh, so, so, anyway, I don't care if you come and talk on my video. So, anyway, no, I'm just talking to my friends. So. Oh, you're Mary? On your name, Mary. I didn't know that. Mary, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were live while ago. When I forget your name. There you are, Mary. Mary. Uh, I didn't realize that you were going live while ago. And when I saw There She Thrifts, I thought, see, you've got a different name. And I didn't recognize it. I'm sorry. Do you need any help? Did you get what you needed to do? Because I can help you. We can... I'm fixing to close off here, and I can come help you if you need any help. So, anyhow. So, so I, will, I, I, I want to lose half of my body weight. And, and uh, I've discussed this. I, 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 I probably have no pride, they say. But, anyway, I've heard that. But I weigh over 300 pounds. When I started, I weighed 330. And so I want to lose down to 175. So that's almost half my body weight. So I'm almost at 300. I'm almost at 300. I weighed 300.4 the other day. So anyway, so I'm almost at 300. So um, then my next goal will be 275. And I have to break it in chunks because if I think of it as oh, I need to lose half of my body weight, it discourages me, and I want to stop right then. So um, I, I'm going to do this. This is going to be how my life will be for the rest of my life. I'm going to do this. So anyway, there I've lost. There you are. There. Here, I want to go over here. Anyway, but I'm going to do this. It may take me. It may take me a while, but I'm going to do it. So keep trying to scoot y'all over so I can see this just a little bit better. So I'm going to scoot you just to like that and then I'm going to do this and maybe I can see better. There, maybe I can see. So I really anyway. So 
go. So, <laughs> good for you, Nana. That is huge. So, congratulations. I'm proud of you. So, um, we, you know, we all have to do what we have to do. So, I didn't gain this weight overnight. And I'll tell you, um, I, I've talked some here about my son dying. I don't think I've ever showed y'all this. This is my boy. He, he um, this was, 2000, this picture was in 2005. So this was about, he's about 10 here. He died when he was 14. When he died, I was doing Weight Watchers and I had just got back down. I had gotten all the way up to 358. And I'd been doing Weight Watchers and had lost quite a bit. And I had just got down to right around 310 when he died. And then it came back plus some. So I got back up to 353 and I thought I'm going to be right back where I started when I started Weight Watchers. And so I started just watching what I eat, just watching my portion control. And I had lost down to 330 and then I heard about keto and I started doing keto and um, it's come off. I've been on keto since May the 26th. It's come off fast, but I have a lot of ups and downs because I retain a lot of fluid and um, I only have one kidney and I don't know if that's why, but uh, uh, I do that. And are you sorry about my son dying? Is that why you're saying that Cheryl? Cheryl, my son died playing, playing the choking game, which is a very dangerous game. And we have used his death to educate parents to look for signs. If you do not know um, the signs for the choking game, because there are very, very, good warning signs to tell you that your kids are doing this go to gasp g-a-s-p dot net it is short for games adolescents play no games adolescents shouldn't play and uh it is a channel that will give you the warning signs of what the choking game is and in hindsight there were a lot of warning signs for us that we did not know so we we spent the first two years two to three years after his death really trying to educate people of people not people but parents because you take four kids three out of those four kids know about the choking game you take the parents of those four kids the eight parents of those four kids usually only one of them know Anyway, so uh, we we really worked hard on educating parents. And hi, Ray. Um, and if um, if um, we can make parents aware, and they're, they profile the kind of kids that do it. It's usually kids that have no sense of danger, which my son did. He would jump without looking all the time. Um, Debbie, they used to call it the pass out game, seven minutes to heaven. It has like almost a hundred names. So, um, they, they give all the names, a uh, doorway to heaven. It, it is a lot. There's a lot of names for it. So anyway, but, uh, um, the, uh, we, we helped raise funds by doing a t-shirt campaign to help, help them. We, we had a young girl that was in our homeschool group that did a um, um, a 4-H project that went all the way to state level, educating uh, adults about recognizing the signs of it. Um, and um, there was, in our state at that time, they ran many specials on TV about the dangers of it because there was several children that died during that during a three, four year period that um, uh, that, that our, our state felt like they needed to help educate people about it. So anyway, but you know what? You don't need adequate words because I know that my friends care and I know that um, I know where my son is. He was a good little boy. He loved Jesus with all of his heart. So I know where he is. Um, and uh, yeah 
Yeah, that is crazy. That is just crazy that kids, kids just do not get how dangerous things are. And, and what, I think the only thing that makes, well, I'm sad that my son is gone. He's been gone for nine years. He would be a 23, no, he would be a 24 year old adult now. So, um, he's been gone for nine years. No, he would be just be 23. He would turn 24 this year. But, uh, the thing that makes me sad about it is he hated to hurt people's feelings. And if he'd have known how hurtful what he was doing was, he would have never tried it. Never. He would have been horrified that his silliness that he was doing caused so much pain. So that's the, probably the hardest thing about it. But uh, but uh, uh, anyway, if anybody in here today learned anything about it, that they can recognize the signs in their own child, I'm, I'm very proud. So, um, so uh, yeah, I say report any kind of group that you see that is calling for kids to play that game report it to facebook because that's dangerous it it kills people there is no there is no play in that game that it doesn't cause harm because anytime you go without oxygen for seconds you damage brain cells and you know what's crazy about it is i'm living right now i'm living the life of a person who was without oxygen we don't even know how long because even though people started CPR on my husband when he dropped dead in his barbershop uh, two years ago, he still ended up with what's called an anoxic brain injury. And it's almost like living with a child who doesn't know right from wrong sometimes because it's very impulsive. Uh, if he thinks it, he has to say it. If he thinks of something that is a good idea to do, he has to try it. And so I'm living the results of what can happen to a kid that might not die. But uh, anyway, one day right now I can't because it's a mess. It's dirty, dirty from being um, tarnished, but I need to clean it. I have a very special bracelet that a friend made me that is called a family bracelet that has my birthstones, my husband's birthstones, my kid's birthstones. And she made it in memory of my son. And if y'all have never noticed this, this is in memory of my son. It has his initials, JDL, and uh, a dove. And then uh, 94 to 09, he was born in 94. So anyway, so, but I'm going to stop right now because it's 320. I've been here for uh, a little bit. Uh, I showed y'all everything that I have before I stop. Yeah, if you'd leave thumbs up, that's great. If you're not subscribed, that's great too. But uh, uh, if you would just, um, uh, Francis is did Francis leave? I bet she did. Didn't realize that that was a mistake. So anyway, so um, anyhow, so uh, if you leave me a thumbs up, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. Remember next Monday night. Debbie is doing an auction on her channel, Deb's Treasures, and um, go out and support her. And uh, if something happens that she has internet issues, she will send that to April's channel probably. So anyway, so uh, but go out and support her. Be sure to visit uh, uh, Poshmark. Uh, uh, Butterfly Kisses J is Francis's um, Poshmark closet and she has beautiful purses she has some beautiful purses she sent me the um mesh bags and be sure to go subscribe to anita Fanita if you're not already subscribed to her she has a great channel and she shows some great things and she's going to be doing a video where she shows a haul that she got so guys thumbs up stay cool and uh it's really hot again today so stay nice and cool inside my husband is out mowing right now middle of the afternoon but uh he got an impulse so there we go so y'all have a great day bye thanks thanks